Hello my beautiful Nicolettes, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new. Today I'm going to be talking about how to look bomb in every single photo. I did one of these a while ago and I definitely have learned more tips and tricks and I wanted to do a video for you guys talking about my tips and tricks, everything from poses as well as editing, everything I pretty much do for my Instagram as well. If you guys aren't already following me, please please follow me, it's just at NicolettaXOYT, I post a ton on there, I'd love if you guys went over and joined joined that family because I know a bunch of you guys haven't joined that family and I'd love for us to grow over on there. Let me know by leaving a comment on my latest photo that you came from this video and I will go spam you guys. I seriously love posting my fashion posts and also sharing my life more personally and if there's one social media you're going to be able to contact me the most, it's definitely Instagram. Before I jump into it as well, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you are part of the Nicolette's fam jam and also please hit the bell notification so you're notified every single time. I upload a video like this and it would mean the world to me if you guys hit that thumbs up button because it really does help a lot since you know YouTube is a little cray putting a thumbs up really helps my videos out a lot so it would mean the world to me like I said I post a ton of my photo shoots over on my Instagram and I actually do a lot of photo shoots with my best friend Jessica and if you guys are following my Instagram you probably have noticed her along because I always take her photography account so her photography account is at plume dot productions and she is just a freelance photographer in the Toronto area also the GTA kind of area so if you guys are ever looking for a photographer and you're from the Toronto area Area or you want to do photo shoots for something and you're looking for a photography you can always head over to her she is super affordable and takes really great quality photos and she has definitely been trying to build up her photography business so of course I gotta shout my girl out she is the photographer behind pretty much all my photos that you guys see on Instagram I wrote everything down on my phone so I don't forget what to say enough talking and let's just jump into it get inspiration every single time I'm on Instagram and I just see something that catches my eye that I like I always use the save button it's really cool that you can save people's photos now on Instagram so if you ever want to go back and kind of look for inspiration for a photo shoot you can always do that so whenever I see something that I really like whether it's an outfit it's an expression pose it's a body pose and I just also gives me kind of like inspo I'll always save it on my Instagram another form that I use is Pinterest sometimes I go on Pinterest and look for different photo shoot ideas it's a really great tool to use as well I know my friend Jessica whenever she goes for photo shoots with people where she does like a maternity photo shoot or she'll do like wedding photo shoots, engagement photo shoots. She'll usually go on Pinterest and see kind of ideas so that she can suggest it to the people that she's taking their photos for. So I think Pinterest and Instagram is really great tools for getting inspiration. You can also get inspiration from the plain old magazine. It's really fun to get also inspiration from just models. I like to also when I'm on Instagram look at a lot of fashion bloggers because my Instagram is highly fashion related. I love sharing my outfits, but I also look for different things. Like when I was going on vacation, I was looking at a lot of vacation kind of photos. So I get inspired like with that. So you can look at travel kind of Instagrammers. I recommend Instagram and using that save button for sure because that is a huge way to get inspiration. Super simple and super quick as well. Go to faces and as well as go to kind of like body poses, posing in front of a mirror. You're going to find out which side of your face you're like do you like your smile open do you like it more closed do you like more of that sassy kind of look just knowing it kind of works with your face and your body is really gonna be great when you are on the spot and you have to do poses you're gonna kind of have those go-to poses that you do I definitely have my go-to faces and go-to body poses and I definitely do it a lot but I also like to use my inspiration and go look at people's different facial poses so it's not always the same kind of photos makeup tips I like to really focus on my lashes when it comes to photo shoots. I definitely put on falsies when I know I'm going to have a photo shoot because I like to draw attention to the eyes and make my eyes look kind of more intense and I notice lashes really help with this. I am just showing you guys the lashes I use uh, preferably and they are from the dollar store. I've mentioned them a few times. They are from Dollarama. They're super cheap and affordable but I love them because they are such great quality for the price you're paying and I can use these up to like 10 times. Not even kidding guys. I really like the red one and like 
like this kind of shape. I just think it really works. I'm curious to know what kind of lashes you guys look because I'm looking into also trying kind of different lash looks. So let me know your favorite lashes and like what numbers you use and stuff. I'm curious to know. But I definitely think lashes make a huge difference when it comes to any sort of makeup. Also just putting mascara is going to make such a big difference, of course. Sometimes I will go crazy on the makeup for photo shoots because I want to do something like fun. But most of the time I'll just go for a natural or neutral eye and just have my lashes pop. And then the next thing, which is highlighter. I like to go a little ham on highlighter when it comes to photo shoots because I love that dewy, glowy kind of look. And I get so many comments on a lot of my Instagram photos saying like, oh my god, your highlight looks so good. Your highlight's popping. And I love that. I love when my highlight is just glowy and the attention's on my highlight and you're just glowy and glistening. I'll share with you guys what I use because I get a lot of questions on that when it comes to my photo shoots and I definitely use a more intense than when it's a normal day so I like to use two highlighters at once I'll usually go in with a cream highlighter and I'll either use the benefits what's up or what's up a highlighter or I'll go with my NYX dewy stick highlighter and I'll always go in with a cream first and then to top it off I will always use a powdered highlighter my go-to is the Becca cosmetics highlighter in opal and I also have have a Smashbox Trio highlighter which I like to use sometimes but my friend Jessica usually I'm in downtown Toronto with her and I like to go and use her makeup sometimes and she has a Laura Geller highlighter I believe it's in the shade honey that might not even be a shade but I think it is it's more of a golden tone that makes your highlight just pop girl I'm obsessed with that highlighter so I usually use that too for a lot of my photo shoots so I like to switch it up but I like to have that glowy look and I like to put it of course on the cheekbones but something I really like to do as well if I have an off-the-shoulder top or my collarbones are showing or something like that what I like to do is put highlighter on the collarbones and as well sometimes even on the shoulder if your shoulders are showing it just makes them pop out and I just love the look of it and it gives you more of that dewy glowy look like you're some Victoria's Secret model or something like that highlight and lashes are my two things to go for lighting of course I love natural lighting I've said this before natural lighting is the way to go of course if you're gonna take selfies or pictures in the dark especially if you're using a phone it's gonna be really grainy and lower quality so I definitely recommend doing your photo shoots in natural lighting of course you can play with the Sun as well Some Sometimes I like to have shadows on my face and do different things with the sun. I think it's really cool, but a lot of the times I find like the perfect way to get a good photo is during those days where it's overcast, so there's not too sunny, but it's not too dark and muggy outside. And as well as the golden hour, which you guys know that hour where everyone talks about where it's basically when the sun sets is the golden hour and it's gonna give you that really dewy flawless look to your photos you're gonna look like a sun goddess your eyes are gonna pop out I love to also play with that as well um, you can also do the sunrise but I've never been up that early and ready for a photo shoot at the time so your girl has not done that but I definitely suggest doing cool photo shoots when the Sun is setting because it's gonna make the sky look really cool and as well as you're gonna get that really cool lighting with like the different effects on your photos use what you got use whatever is on on you use your hands use different poses with your legs you have a sweater or a coat using the hood of the coat using your sweater using a scar using your hands or something like on your face on your shoulders using what your mama gave you <laughs> and your clothes <laughs> I did a photo winter shoot with Jessica and we use like the snow we use the fur of the jackets like our hoods and stuff like that she we really pose different ways like that poses and how to kind of look slimmer in your photos of course when your legs are completely together it's gonna make your legs look a little bit more thicker it's not gonna give you that shape and it's also gonna kind of make your thighs and hips a little bit bigger so of course the best way to stand is legs apart so you kind of see that space and it really defines your legs so having one leg out also you can also do the one step forward kind of like you're walking where you have that one foot forward I just think it elongates your body it makes you look slimmer so for a lot of my photo shoots I like to wear different heels or something that has a little bit of a platform just so it adds height because it does give you that better posture it kind of like pops everything up to give your body a nicer silhouette however sometimes I don't wear heels 
when I was in Greece and my friend and I did photo shoots a lot there, a lot of the times I was wearing more bathing suits and stuff like that. So a little trick I have for that is if you're shorter like me or even if you're taller and you just want to look more elongated in photos, go on your tiptoes. It kind of gives you that same kind of look as wearing heels and elongates your body. And another way to elongate your body is having your hands up. So playing with your arms. I did this photo with my blue bikini where my legs are elongated. I'm on my tiptoes and I have my arms up. It kind of just stretches your whole body up. It gives you a longer silhouette and that linear silhouette. So really playing with what you have, going on your tiptoes, lifting up your arms, having your legs apart is really going to make you look more slimmer. If you want more of that curvy girl body, like that Kim K kind of look, obviously you're going to do different things. You're going to pose with your hip out, your bum out a little bit. If you want a thicker, more appearance, your legs to be together, obviously doing kind of more of the opposite stuff. And also if you're going to pose with a chair, I did a bunch of photos on a stool and I noticed that when you're back on the chair, your thighs kind of flatten out. So I like to sit on the edge of the chair. It just makes your legs look not as flat and not as thick. And also I like to have my leg elongated so it gives me that long look. However, if you want your thighs to look thicker, it is better to sit back on the chair and it's going to flatten your legs out and you're going to look like you have thicker thighs than what you have. Those are all my posing kind of tips, tricks, like really quickly right now that I can give you guys. There's a bunch of different poses I like to do. I like to play around with it, see what kind of works. Obviously, it's fun to just test what things are going to look like. I like to do different things. It may not be flattering, but you end up learning what kind of goes with your body shape editing. I actually don't use like filters or anything like that on my photo because I want my photos to kind of be more bright and just good quality. I used to use Visco back in the day. All I use are two websites and sometimes I don't even edit a lot of my photos because the lighting and everything is just so great. And I just use pickmonkey.com or ipicky.com if I kind of want to brighten it, the exposure, uh, fix the saturation. They also have a bunch of tools if you want to like brighten your smile or like anything you really want to do there. But I just like to sometimes touch up the photos so it's really nice. And Jessica uses really great cameras. I think she uses the 70D, the Canon 70D. Um, and she has different lenses. She has a portrait lens, landscape lens, a bunch of them. I personally love the portrait lens because it gives you that blurry background, which I love. I think it makes you look so flawless. They have portrait lenses now on phones. I know like iPhones has that setting and it's amazing. I'm pretty sure Samsung some of them have it. It depends on what phone you have, but that's really great. They give you that blurry background and just makes your photos look a lot more professional, which I personally really enjoy. Be confident. I know it can be really awkward when you first start posing, you're like, I don't know what to do. But honestly, if you just practice, you work with it, no one's judging you. People don't have to see the derp photo. You use the one you like. And usually everyone takes a million photos and gets that one photo. So everyone's beautiful. We all have different facial features, body structures, and I think everyone can really work their body and have fun with it. I personally love just like going out for a photo shoot and feeling myself and just feeling comfortable and just making such a beautiful photo and being like, wow. I love looking at everyone's photos as well. If you guys have Instagram, let me know by leaving a comment down below. I'm curious to see your feeds. I always love getting inspiration from everyone's photos. So definitely do so. In the end of the day, be confident and have fun with it. So I hope you guys like this video. Thumbs up if you want more videos like this. And if you liked it, I would really appreciate it. And as well as don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the Nicolette's fam jam circle uploads every other day here on my channel and as well as hit that bell notification so you're notified every single time I upload a video like this of course but I hope you guys are having an amazing day evening or night whenever you're watching this and I'll catch you guys in my next one bye